morning so i'm inviting you for one more session here we are going to discuss pattern multiplication of eight isotropic point sources which are separated by lambda by two distance each so here we come across some steps mainly three steps in the first step we are going to calculate the radiation pattern of two point sources separated by lambda by two then we come across one more step that is two groups what we are making and that group contains four isotropic point sources and here those two groups are separated by lambda and finally we are making another grouping that is final stage there also we are come across two point two groups separated by two lambda and that will give the resultant pattern of eight isotropic point sources which are separated by lambda by two okay let us do one by one in the first step as i told pattern multiplication of eight point sources that is eight antenna array elements which are separated by lambda by two and also fed with the same phase signal this is the structural representation of eight point sources here dipole one two dipole eight these are arranged like this and separated by lambda by two each right and here the distance is lambda by two and this is as usual fed with some source of same phase to all elements okay what we are doing in this uh, mat pattern multiplication method let us see uh, we are getting the resultant pattern how we can do that so in the first step we are making groups this eight elements into four groups each group contains two elements see like this group a is the two elements dipole one and dipole two group b dipole two and three uh, three and four and c group c is pi and six and group d is having um, a dipole element uh, seven and eight right now we will calculate the distance between these two uh, these four groups okay that is first step as you know these are all the groups what i separated the what is the distance between a and b a is taken from the center of the first two elements b is taken from the center of the second two elements like this these are all the center points of each these two two elements now here we are getting lambda by four here lambda by two again lambda by four that's why a b are separated by what that is lambda similarly b and c are also separated by lambda c and d separated by lambda okay and again i am making this to get the resultant pattern i am making this into two groups these four groups a b c d are separated as a two groups that is i am calling that as a e and f how i am making c this is one group called e and this is c and d is another group called f and these two groups how they are separated what is the distance that is here center point of these two groups uh, and center point of these two groups here lambda by 2 I am getting and lambda lambda by 2 that is almost 2 lambda these two groups are separated by 2 lambda okay this is the way we can separate the groups and also estimate the distance between those two gro those groups as I told from the step 1 we have to estimate the resultant radiation pattern of group A or group B or group C or group D all are same right let us consider group a so that is in this way that is resultant pattern of a or b or c or d can be obtained it is almost like two elements two isotropic elements are separated by lambda by two that we have already estimated in our earlier session that is session one nah? so that is the process I, I am not repeating here so the resultant pattern of group a is equal to radiation pattern of one nine two or the pattern of two point sources separated by lambda by two that we mathematically estimated this is the group a these two are the elements separated by lambda by two and as per our mathematical calculation we are getting the nulls at 0 and 180 degree and maximas at 90 and 270 degree that's why the pattern looks like this it has two maximas and two nulls okay that you can refer that to previous session where we are estimated how to get the resultant pattern of two point sources separated by lambda by two so we have to proceed with the next stage here what i am doing i am considering two groups either a and b or c and d which are separated by lambda right that we have to estimate so the resultant radiation pattern is due to the group a and b which are separated by 
lambda not lambda by 2 don't confuse huh? so here the what is the equation if I consider uh, E the pattern of A into group pattern of A and B if you consider the pattern of F at F if you want you have to estimate the pattern of C and into group pattern of C and D huh? this the pattern of A pattern of C what I am drawing that is the individual pattern in this particular stage right so this is as you know the individual pattern A means what it is the uh, two isotropic point sources are separated by lambda by 2 as we already seen in the previous slide this will give two maximas and two minimas and the resultant pattern is what resultant pattern means the source this group A and B separated by lambda so that also we know from the previous discussion mathematically we did that and we are getting like this it has a null set 60 degree and 120 degree and it has a four maximas maximas at 0 degree and 180 degree and 90 degree and 270 degree what it is the it is the group pattern of A and B or C and D separated by lambda so now we are getting the resultant pattern by multiplication of these two here maxima into maxima we are getting maxima here also maxima and here maxima that will give the maxima here there is a null and here maxima is there so we are getting the null and here there is a maxima but there is a null so we are getting null here there are six nulls right these these two nulls are already multiplied with these two that's why we are not highlighting that and here at 60 degree 120 degree 240 degree, 300 degree we are getting null no that we are nulls are represented by a small lobes like minor lobes along with the these major lobes right so we'll proceed with the next stage what is that here you see see this is the uh, resultant pattern at uh, e and f as we estimated the distance e and f are separated by two lambda either you can calculate the resultant pattern of e or f huh? if you consider e you have to go with individual pattern of e and group, group pattern of e and f if you consider f you can write the individual pattern of f first into group pattern of e and f and as usual we have to add all the nulls which are available which are getting between these two individual group and group pattern individual pattern and group pattern what is your individual pattern here this one you saw no this one just in the previous stage we calculated this is the unit pattern here unit pattern of whatever e is getting what is that there are two point sources separated by lambda right that we got it and what is the group pattern between e and f that is different because here the distance between e and f is 2 lambda how we are getting we know the standard representation of two point sources separated by 2 lambda that is having four nulls and four maximas so these as per the mathematical analysis calculation we are getting nulls at 48 degree 76 degree like that so totally there are four nulls and four maximas we are getting maximas at 0 degree and 180 degree 90 degree and 270 degree and similarly there are nulls we are getting because d is 2 lambda if you substitute in that equation you will get it now we have to multiply these two so there are four maximas here two maximas here here four nulls here also four nulls multiply these two maxima into maxima we are getting maxima and here there is a null and maxima null we are getting and here there is a maxima maxima we are getting maxima and here there is a null but here maxima if you multiply you will get null to what we observed in this in this uh, uh, resultant pattern when the two isotropic point sources are separated by lambda we are getting null at 60 degree 120 degree like that there are four nulls hmm? and totally this null also included here in this 48 degree 76 degree we have a nulls if you go for a mathematical estimation and totally we are getting three nulls this side three nulls this side totally six nulls and here also that will be replicated here three nulls from this side and three nulls from this side totally six nulls that's why we have two maximas and six nulls each side on either side of the maxima just see the details here see there are six nulls represented by small minor lobes like and this is the resultant pattern of the radiation pattern of eight point sources separated by lambda by two right this is the way you can process and get the pattern multiplication 
of a8 point array all elements are separated by lambda by 2 distance okay and uh, as usual uh, the students suddenly you if you may not follow but you should go slowly and see the calculation and uh, if you watch this carefully you'll be familiar with uh, uh, pattern multiplication thanks for watching if you like as usual share with your friends if it is good okay otherwise if there is any comment put it in the comment box thank you